also recently went to TJ Mask and TJ Mask. What? Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do a huge haul. So, you guys know I am trying to be on the no buy train, but it's just it's the trains rolling out right now. I just I got caught up in a few things that I purchased, and then I just did more and then the Kat Von D thing came out so I bought the anniversary palette and I just ah I bought too much I know I did but I'm really really excited about everything I purchased so am I really that mad no but now that I got everything that I was looking for and looking to and kind of some sale stuff I'm back on my no buy so I'm filming this right now because it is like the middle of May and I don't want to purchase anything more. So I am going to include my boxes and stuff that I got in the mail so that you guys can see everything that I got for this month because I don't have anything else coming in the mail at all. So that is my plan and I hope to stick to it because I don't have anything else that I need or want to purchase. I mean, let's be real, I want to purchase everything. But I have nothing else that I actually really, really want and have been eyeing or anything like that. And not only that, but I want to wait until the sale comes up to purchase some items that are on my list. So, with that being said, let me get into the haul because it's a lot of stuff and I just want to whip through it really quick. So, let's do that. So the first thing I want to do is go through all my boxes, like my subscription box type of items. So the first one I got is the Walmart Beauty Box. And I really do love this box. It's such a good one. It really truly is. So this is how the inside of the box comes. Sorry about the lighting. It might be blowing it out a little bit. Let me see if I can turn my... There. Is that a little bit better? You guys see it a little bit better? Hopefully. But I got the Rembrandt three-day whitening boost kit and I'm gonna try that out for your teeth then I got another one of the Jergens natural glow wet skin moisturizers and this is in fair to medium so it is a little bit too light for my skin tone I got the so soft soap earth blends moisturizing body wash this one looks really really nice this one this brand is exclusively sold at Walmart so if you want it you have to pick it up from there or online I guess you could probably get it from then I have the Pantene Pro-V Foam Conditioner Sheer Volume, and I've never tried this, but I've seen this kind of all over the internet, not the internet, all over stores, and I really wanted to try it, so test that out. And this is a toothpaste, it's from Hello, and it is called the Sensitivity Relief Fluoride Toothpaste in the Soothing Mint with Coconut Oil, so I will definitely try that out, con considering that I finished my toothpaste for this month, so. And then I have the Acai Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask to Brighten and Renew, and this is by So AE, and this looks pretty good actually, so you'll definitely see this in a sample empty soon. So then we got a $2 off one week whitening kit from Rembrandt if you like it. And then like an information card on the soft soap and an information card information information card on the Hello toothpaste. So that's actually a really excellent Walmart box. I really enjoy getting these. They only cost $5. And it's only $5 for the shipping. So they don't really make you pay for the products but you pay for the shipping and then they want you to review the products just to see if there were things that you really enjoyed or things that you're not gonna use or whatever. I never do the reviews, I probably should, but yeah, there's that and I really do like these boxes and these little boxes come in handy to use, so I really enjoy that. The next box I got was a free single box and I'm gonna cancel the subscription because I just wanted to try it out, but it is the Gray's Food Box and it says snacking reimagined. So I got four different snacks in here. I got the Sweet Memphis Barbecue, the Smokin' Protein Kick, the Banana Protein Flapjack, and the Sweet Rhubarb Jam. So I will try all those out and let you guys know. Then I got my Sephora Play Box. This one, how cute is this? It's like a cartoon article. I just. I love that, I think it's so cute. And then the bag is like a jean bag this time. And I got the Altier Cologne in Clementine, California. This is one that I actually was really looking forward to, so I'm really glad I got that sample. I got the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet, and this is a facial moisturizer. I've already used this before, I know I like it. And then the 
Buxom. What is this? Lash Mascara. A little sample of that. And then the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And I have not tried this yet. I'm really excited to try that. And I got the Way Hair Care Wave Spray. Wave Spray Spray? I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I will definitely try that and let you guys know. And then finally, I did get the mini of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I love that I got that because I have not tried it yet and I'm really, really excited to try it, especially because I have been using winged liner or doing winged liner more often. So that is all I got in my Sephora play box. Then for Ipsy, I'm gonna do that next. I got this bag, which everybody else got. And let's see, I got the two Sir Medic Poreless Carbonic Peel Masks. There's two of them in here, I think. Yeah, it looks like there's at least two of them in here. So definitely going to be trying these out and you'll see these in a sample empties. And I got the Adess New York um, Organic Infused Nail Lacquer. And oh, I got the pink one. And this is in the shade Bellini. So definitely not my favorite type of color, but it might look good if my skin is really, really tan. Then I got the Air Repair Complexion Quenching. Quenching? quenching facial mist. I'm actually really excited about that. I am using an air repair moisturizer right now that I really, really enjoy. And then the last two products I got were the Tristique Mini Matte Blur Stick. Hmm. I don't know. We'll try this. It's like really pink looking. I don't know if this is supposed to be like, oh my God, there's like no product in that. That's all you get. <laughs> well, it is definitely mini. I will say that. But I will definitely try that out and see if I like it. And then finally I got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum Replush Smooth and Soften. So I'm really excited to try that as well. So I think I got a really good Ipsy this month. But once again, I will try out all these products and probably do a Instagram post on this as well. Then my BoxyCharm this month. I know you guys have probably seen everybody else's, but I just wanted to show you mine really quick. I got the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is a full-size primer, so definitely excited about that. I got the two brush sets, the three little ones, and then the bigger one. So these are all from... Aesthetica. This is the P12 and then these other ones. I don't think they have a name on them, but anyways, I'll try those out. And then I got the Pretty Vulgar, what is this? The Ink Blacklist Gel Liner. I seriously thought if I like dump it upside down like the dip ink. Have you guys ever used like a calligraphy pen where you had to do the dip ink? I love doing that anyways. Um, that's what I totally thought was going to happen to this, but it did not. So that was a good thing. But this is like the potted gel liners. It's not like the liquid liner. And then fine. Oh no, I got two more things in here. Two more things. I got the Pure Palette, um, the Sculptor Palette. I'm sure you guys have seen a million people with that out already, but I got that one. And then finally, I got the BoxyCharm and Beauty Creations Collaboration Matte Lip Gloss. And I got the shade Kiss Me. I'm not sure if everybody else got the same shade, but this looks like a very like vampy berry color, um, like a raspberry tone. Not my favorite tone, but I will try it out and let you guys know how I feel about that. So once again, check out my Instagram beauty page for updates on these. I also got a pinch me box this month. This one is for, this one is a free box for like samples for you to try out. So they sent me some Hallmark cards from some Just Because cards. Maybe I'll send one to my husband. Um, I got a shampoo and conditioner sample. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Gentle Shampoo in Oat Delicacy. So gentle shampoo and conditioner. I'll try those out. Then I got a Garnier Fructis Soothing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. So this one's actually a really fair sample. It's like completely full. So I'm really happy about that being a little bit more full than they usually are. Then I got a nice and easy Clairol. Oh, it's like a free, it's a free box coupon for like a hair dye. Um, I don't color my hair at all, you guys know that, but there is a little pony in here, like a little Clairol pony, like those Thai ponies. So I'm definitely gonna try this out, even though it says Clairol on it. I'm definitely gonna try that and see if I like it. And then finally in this box, 
In this pinch me box, I got a thing of Skittles, and this is the Sweet Heat Bite Size Candies. Um, I'll probably let my son try these and see if he likes them. Um, I don't eat candies like this. They're really, really hard on my teeth, and I have very sensitive teeth, so there is that. That's like a pretty decent little like pinch me box. I've gotten other ones in the past that I thought were a little bit better, but yeah, go to pinchme.com and you can review products and they'll send you free products to review. So kind of cool. And then I made a ColourPop order when they had their birthday shadow on sale. So I got a couple different things. I got the Kennedy Super Shock Shadow. This is more of a, like a matte, what is it, orange? Then I got the birthday color. This is birthday wish, so there's that. Then I got socialize, and this is a colorful purple because I did throw away my other colorful purples. Not throw them away, I sold them slash gave them away. Um, then I got an ultra glossy lip from the Femme Rosa collection with Carucci. And I got the shade Contessa. There it is there. It's like a super, super gold shimmery. Um, glossy color and I figured that would be perfect for the summer so I'm really excited about that one. Then I got a lippy stick and what shade did I get? I got the shade with the band and it is a matte X color. I don't think I have this so far. I don't think I have this one yet but there it is there. It looks like a perfect Cali color which is like a kind of a darker mauve on the browner tone side. So those are the colors I love. I got another Super Shock Shadow and this is in the shade Fluffy and it is like a golden, like a dark brown golden shimmer. So try that out. And then finally I got one more um, Lux lipstick from their new collection that they have out. I just watched a the video with Messy Jessie where she swatches them all on her lips and I plan on doing one of them myself, but this is the, sh the shade Little League and it definitely is a Cali color. I love colors like that, so I'm really excited to try that one out. And that was it from my ColourPop order and I, I just love these little sayings that they have. This one says, go shoddy, it's sherbet, like sherbet, like the ice cream day, it's sherbet day. Like I just, <laughs> I love those. I think those are such a cute touch and I just, I think those are super fun. So that is all that I got from ColourPop. So I did pick up two of the Kat Von D anniversary items. I picked up the palette, which I've already showcased on my Instagram. Here it is here, it's so beautiful. And this palette is the eyeshadows that I am wearing today. I am wearing this red on my outer crease, this orange on my inner crease, this like taupey shade all over my crease and then I'm wearing this shade here um, on my lids so and I'm also wearing this dark brown shade underneath my eyes so I really really enjoyed this palette so far but this is going to go in my next palette review video because I am going to use this a ton because I really want to try it out and put it to the test and then I also picked up her Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Santa, Santa Sangri, I think it's how it's pronounced, but it is a beautiful red. I've already taken it out of the packaging, but it is this gold packaging. Look at that red. Seriously, you guys, like that definitely looks like a Cali red. It's like a darker toned red, and I love those, so I'm definitely going to try this out as well. So make sure to look for a review on those. And then Bite Beauty launched their new spice collection. So you guys know I had to pick up some of those. I've been obsessed with Bite Beauty lately, like obsessed. I cannot stop. So the three colors I picked up were Pink Salt, Toasted Cardamom, and Star Anise. And I guess these are supposed to be like, like based on the spices. I don't know if Pink Salt, I mean, I guess it's a spice, but it's not really, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't really label salt as being a spice, but I don't know. I will show you the colors really quickly here. So this one is pink salt. It's a mauve toned color. The next one is star anise, and this is more of a gray toned pink. I'm really excited to try that one out because typically colors like that don't look so good on me, but I'm going to test it out. 
And then I got Toasted Cardamom, which is more of an orange toned pink. I really like colors like this as well. Toasted Cardamom reminds me a lot of Layover from ColourPop. So these are the two right next to each other. They are like literal dupes. Let's see, I'm gonna swatch them really quick. Yeah, they're like almost the exact same tone. Except for Toasted Cardamom is a little bit more orange and layover is a little bit more pink. So I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I could not my, I could not stop myself from this one, you guys. I've been wanting this. I've been really, really wanting this. And I saw it on sale and I was like, you know what? I am just gonna get this. It looks so pretty. I'm really excited about this Throne shade and um, Sphinx, right, one right on top of each other. I'm just... I couldn't stop myself, you guys, and it's on sale. It was only $31, so I picked that up. I did also see this at TJ Maxx, and it was $29, but somebody had touched it, so I'm like, I'm really glad I got a brand new one from Sephora, and I got Sephora points, so those were all the things that I purchased from Sephora, but I wanted to show you all the free samples that I got as well. I have my huge pile right here. I got a Kevin Aquan, um, the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation sample. My dogs are freaking out because it's thundering. I got a Bosha detoxifying, or Basha? Is it Basha or Bosha? Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I really, wish, I really wish this was the Dolce Garden, that new scent, but unfortunately it's not. I got a Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I have not tried this yet. A Becca, what is it, Ultimate... Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is like their foundation, I think. I'll try this out. There's three shades. Unfortunately, this shade's too dark and this shade's too light, so I think I'm just gonna mix those two together and I think this shade will be perfect. So I'll try that out. I got a Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup and the same thing with this one. These two are too light and too dark, so I'm just gonna mix them together to make that kind of shade. So I'll try that out. I got a sample of the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really think two or three shades out of this will be okay. This black shade here is gonna be way too dark, but I'm gonna try this out with the brush and see if that's any good. Then I got Terry de Harmes. Not really sure how to pronounce this. This is an Eau de Toilette, and this looks like a fragrance for men, so I'm gonna have my husband try this out. I did have him try out Mr. Burberry or Eau de Toilette, and I freaking love it. It smells so good. Anyway, so I'm gonna have him try that out. So then I got the Dr. Jard Sikapar um, Derma Green Solution. I'm not really sure, but there's that. And I got a Clinique Moisture Surge to try out as well. I got another one of the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and another one of the Clinique Moisture Surge. Then I got this Beauty Insider thing. It was like the sample that you put in, like you type in and then you get like this whole sample kit. So the samples in here are a CEO by Sunday Riley, the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins, the Bosha or Basha <laughs> Wake Up Makeup Cool Cleansing Oil. I'm actually really excited to try that. Then I got the Glam Glow Galactic Cleanse Melting Jelly Balm Cleanser. So I'm actually kind of excited to try that as well. The Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Another one of the Dr. Jart samples. What is this? The Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. A sample of the Secret Sauce by It Cosmetics. And then the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I'm super excited to try that one out. So those were all of them, all the samples in this little sample bag. Then for point perks, I picked up a few things. I picked up a bigger size of the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. Kaylee Noel here on YouTube raves about this, so I wanted to give it a really fair try, not just that teeny tiny little sample. I also picked up for a 100 point perk a lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I got the shade Saint Tropez, and, or Saint Tropez, however you wanna say it, and it is a very, very glittery, sparkly, like pink with a gold flash to it, so I'm excited to try that one out. Then with the 
orders. You could also put in another code and that got you a little sample. So I got a sample of the Black Opium, the original perfume by um, YSL or Yves Saint Laurent. And look how cute this little sample is. Seriously, like that's how big it is. It's so cute and small, but I really like this scent. So I was really excited to get that little sample. And then I also picked one that I had never tried before. It's by Dior and it's called Poison Girl. And I smelled this one already and it smells freaking amazing. So this is the box here. But look how freaking cute this one is too. Like seriously, I just think it's so cute. I just can't get over it. This one smells really, really good. So I got those two little um, deluxe high samples. And then also with another code, I got the Tatcha Harper um, Next Generation Beauty Face Rejuvenating Serum. So there is that as well. So I'm really excited to try some of these things and just kind of go with it, you know, and see what I like, see what I don't like, see what I can put on my list and see what samples like something like this that I can use up and tell you guys about and see if it's any good. So I also recently went to TJ Maxx and found a few things in their beauty section that I just had to pick up because I could not pass up on them. And also I went to Bath and Body Works and I picked up a few things there as well. So from Bath and Body Works, I picked up the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Brazilian Nut. I know a lot of you guys love this one and I love it as well. It is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and Bath and Body Works is the only place I've been able to find Brazilian nut scent. So if you want Brazilian nut, that's where I would suggest to go. And also I picked up a few more masks from Freeman. I picked up the Brightening Green Tea and Orange Blossom Peel Off Mask. I've been really enjoying these peel off masks for the summer months, spring and summer months, because they really pull all the gunk out of my, uh, out of my core. I was going to say out of my core, out of my pores. So I picked this one up. And then because I used those two 7th Heaven masks in my um, Drop 10 by Summer project pan, I picked up a few more because I saw them there. So I picked up the a couple of green tea ones because I really have been loving the green tea masks. I picked up the green tea peel off mask. I'm really excited about that one. I picked up the green tea peel off masks peel off mask in like a different color because I'm not sure if they're like the exact same thing with just different packaging or what but I really really like this when I took it to Florida with me so I'm really excited to use both of those and I picked up a different one as well I picked up the 7th Heaven Passion peel off mask and it says removes unwanted oils and protects and it's an easy peel off mask and it looks like it's going to be a purple one so I love passion fruit if you guys know me from work or anything like that I love passion fruit it's so good so I wanted to try that out as well. So those were all the things I got from Bath and Body Works and these are all the things I got from TJ Maxx. I picked up the, I could not believe this was there. I could not believe it. The Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. It is in the old packaging because since they have repackaged, so I'm pretty sure this is fairly old, <laughs> but that's okay because I really wanted to try it. So it is completely brand new, untouched. I'm so excited about this. I've been really wanting to try this and I finally get to so I'm super duper excited about that. I just I can't believe they had that there and this one cost me $14.99. Amazing right? Then from Stila I picked up a color balm lipstick in the shade Alyssa and it's like a darker color but this is the packaging here and it's like a darker vampy color so I probably won't try this one until the fall time but I think that'll be a really pretty color for fall and that one cost me $5.99. And from Lorac, from the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell, Tell No Tales collection, I picked up a lip gloss and lipstick duo. Um, I got the shade Risk It All. This one was completely unopened, so that's why I picked up this one. And this one was $5.99, so I was pretty excited to find that it's such a good deal. But let me pull this out. So the lip gloss is more of a, I don't know, it's like got a shift of gold in it, but it's kind of pink as well. And then the lipstick is like a perfect nude tone there. So I'm pretty excited to try this. I think this might be a good for like in your purse type of lipstick. So we'll try that out. For $5.99, I picked up the Big Bang um, Time Illusion Gloss from Lipstick Queen. And it just kind of is a... 
I don't know, like a nude glossy color. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's like a brown glossy shade. We'll see, I haven't tried anything before from Lipstick Queen, so I figured I should pick it up and try it. And I got a bunch of lipsticks from Smashbox, and these were all $7.99 each, so a little bit more on the expensive side, but that's okay. So these are all the Be Legendary lipsticks, and this one's in the shade Off Script Matte. This one was swatched in store, so I am going to cut off the top of it and sanitize it. Then this one is Warrior Pose Matte. This one is a darker brown tone. This one is Press Tour, and it's a matte. And this one's a lighter orangey brown. Then the shade High. And this one's like a dark brown mauve shade. Shade. Then finally, I got the shade Back Talk. And this is like a pinky, almost like a sparkly tone. So I think this will be like an everyday type of shade. And this one was also sanitized before I got it. So I'm going, or I mean, this one was also swatched before I got it. So I am going to sanitize it. So that was it. <laughs> that was all that I got from Sephora and all my subscription boxes and from TJ Maxx and Bath and Body Works. I do have something from Tarte that I'm going to be unboxing and I'm really excited about it because I got a bunch of new things that I've never tried so there's that but Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Make sure you check out my haul updates. I'm gonna have my first haul update at the end of this month for the very first haul I did on my channel and that was in the beginning of 2017. So make sure you stick around for that and I will explain some items that I got and things that I love and things that I'm like not reaching for anymore, stuff like that. So make sure you stick around for that and I will keep you guys updated on all these products as I use them. You'll mostly see them in my sample empties for all my sample products. So make sure you stay tuned for my channel. I'm super excited about the videos that I have coming up very shortly here. But anyways, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.